April 20th, 2015. You're looking at a newly discovered asteroid called 2015 HDI-1. It's classified as an Apollo near-Earth object. And newly discovered on radar, it, it is a part of a group of asteroids. This is the closest one detected so far, and it is classified as 0.2 LD. That's an LD is the distance or the average distance between the Earth and the Moon, lunar distance. It's closer to 0.1. If you look at the technical data, and we'll go through that. But notice that uh, according to the arc span that they've calculated, it goes out past Mars through the asteroid belt and back in towards the inner solar system. Because of that and because of this narrow dive, in other words, it's very close to the ecliptic plane of the inner solar system, that makes it a lot harder to detect for several reasons. One is the glare of the sun while it's on the back side. So as it comes around, the radar is picking this thing up. Let's narrow this down to the exact hour that we can as far as using a model, guys. But notice as I approach the hours, timestamp bottom right, April 21st, 2015. We'll go through these numbers right there at 4. Point OE minus 4 AU is the closest approach. Now, that again, they found this object two days ago. Condition code 7. What that means is... On the condition code is how close is this thing coming? How certain? But the condition on this one is 7. If they're very certain on the exact orbit, it will be 0. The highest number as far as uncertainty is 9. You've seen this before. But this is for the new guys. MPCU parameter orbit uncertainty is estimated between 0 and 9, with 0 being good, 9 being highly uncertain. Again, we're dealing with a 7. Two-day arc span just discovered but let's look at the close approach data in the numbers they're estimating now that it approached us back in 1923 guys just with two days of data arc span all they can tell is where it was in the last two days they can estimate that but if it had been knocked out of the uh, asteroid belt a few days ago this that would mean nothing but here is the number as far as minimum distance see that in au or astronomical units which is the distance between the earth and the sun this breaks down to 58,000 kilometers which is 36,635 miles remember the moon is average 238 miles but it gets closer and further away so if you the furthest point 252 closest 225 you're about one ld i'm um, excuse me point one or one tenth the distance between the earth and the moon now you're dealing with a estimated 15 meter rock this was a 45 meter rock they estimated that caused the Behringer crater in Arizona now it uh, they're saying it's about 160 feet or 50 meters again we're dealing with about a th third of the size of this rock again estimated each day as the radar gets closer they can change that they're just using the bounce but they estimate it came in at 28,600 miles per hour and had an estimated impact of 10 megatons. So we're dealing a third of that, or 3 megatons, as far as if you compared it to the size of the rock. Of course, it would depend on the speed and the angle of impact. Right above it, they discovered on the same day, HE1. It's a little further away, about the same size. Close approaches tomorrow also. That's what I was saying. There's a group of these rocks that we're encountering now, and we've seen that before. Guys, this is a heads up. I'm updating the Solar and CERN report. It will be up within an hour. CERN is getting ready to crank back up, but they're still having problems at the end run of the injector series, and I'll go through that. We're also getting continued quakes south of Japan, two six points, 6.5, 6.6, and two strong fives so far. It's so a heads up, guys. Be safe.